So one of the best hacks that I've given you before in a previous video, which you can watch right up here, is about cleaning out your closet, streamlining it, and only keeping what you actually wear. This way you can cut time in the morning when you get ready, and you kind of just reduce the clutter. But an added benefit from that is that all the stuff that you want to get rid of, you can actually sell, make a little extra cash on the side, and reinvest it into your wardrobe. So it's like a win-win-win scenario. So in today's video, I'm going to show you five tactics to successfully sell your clothes online. These are the tactics that I use. And I decided to get rid of around 10 items in my closet that you guys are going to be able to shop. I priced them super cheap just for the heck of it to show you exactly how I do it and how it all works. All right, so the first thing is you need to pick where you want to sell. Now, there are a lot of platforms on there and they're all really good. Personally, I'm going to recommend to you guys Poshmark for a couple different reasons. One, it's very simple to do. I think it's probably the easiest one to start selling. All you need to do is download the app, fill in some of your information, or you can log in with Facebook and everything auto populates and you're done literally in 30 seconds. That's it. You're ready to start selling. The second thing is that it's more focused on clothing. So everything on Poshmark is clothing, accessories like watches and sunglasses or shoes or book bags, stuff like that. So this selling platform is really just focused on clothing. I think it makes it easier for you guys. And on top of that, like I said, the entry and the ease of posting items makes it one of the best or more popular platforms to sell your clothing. So tip number two is probably one of the most crucial tips and something a lot of people overlook, and that is to take good picture. Keep in mind that your goal is to declutter your closet, so get rid of that as quick as possible and make some extra cash, which is an added bonus. So a way to sell your things quickly is with good pictures. So make sure it's not super dark where you can barely see the item. Personally, I would recommend you go outside where there's some natural light or go where there's a natural open window. That way you can take some quality pictures and the item is nicely lit. If it's a clothing item like shoes or a shirt or pants, I would recommend you model it. And now not only just wear them, style it. So put it on how you would wear it. I find that when you style the item and people can see how good it looks, your chances of selling it dramatically increase. Tip number three is to price your items just right. Keep in mind that you're not going to be going in this for a business and making thousands of dollars off your closet. You cannot price your items at the same price that you bought them for. A general rule of thumb is to price them anywhere from 40 to 70% off your original MSRP. So say you bought a pair of shoes for $100 and you've been wearing them for a year and they're nicely worn out, you want to price them around 70% off. So price them for 30 bucks. If they're heavily worn out or they're about to fall apart, you'll be lucky if you get $10. If they're in pristine condition, you can maybe price them for $50, $55. So that's kind of your range. Usually knocking anywhere from 40 to 70% off is a safe zone. And again, it depends on the amount of wear. Number four is to write a detailed description. Again, I see this all the time where sellers just post pictures and barely write any description of it. If you want to sell your item quickly, again, put yourself in the shoes of that buyer. People want to know everything with that clothing. How badly worn is it? Are there any permanent stains? Are there any tears on it? How well does that shirt fit? Is it too tight? Is it too loose? How long have you owned the shirt or shoes for? Etc. The more detailed you can be in your description and about that specific clothing item, the better it will be because you can convince a buyer. And finally, tip number five is to be willing to negotiate. Because sometimes, in a blue moon, you will find a buyer that really likes your style and likes what you have to sell from your closet. And sometimes that person can buy three, four items. So if they're willing to do that and you just need to nudge them to do so, offer them a discount. So be like, if you buy three of my items, I'll give you 10 or 15% off. And it's a win-win scenario for both of you. He gets a discount from your clothing and you get rid of three of your items and get some extra cash that you can now invest in a new shirt or new shoes. So be willing to negotiate. A lot of times people just are stuck on their prices and don't wanna come down even though somebody's gonna be buying in bulk, which is a benefit for you as a seller because you're selling more things quicker, you're getting rid of things from your closet, and it saves you on shipping because you're gonna, you can put everything in one box. All right guys, so those are my five tips for selling online and making extra cash. Now to show you guys exactly how this works, I decided to sell 10 of my personal items from my closet that I just don't use too much. They're still in great condition and I'm gonna have it linked below. I priced them super fairly low just to show you guys how it works. And if you like anything, you can pick it up. Now to buy anything or to sell anything, you're going to have to create a user on Poshmark like I 
talked about before. Again, I'm gonna have that link below to their app. It installs on both Android and iPhone, and it's super easy to create a username. So let me know what you guys think, but again, this is a great tip, and I think every man should be doing this, of being able to, to clean out their closet, just keep what they actually want, and hey, sell what you don't, and make some extra cash. So that's it for me in this week's video. See you next time.